Hey guys, what is up? My name is Dom and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Tula customization that was just released in Grand Theft Auto 5 in the Smuggler's Run update. Now, this Smuggler's Run update is absolutely huge, adding so many different planes, helicopters and cars into the game. Now, one of my favourite planes that they've added is the Tula. I think it looks amazing and I cannot wait to be able to get into the game and have a go on it. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys what sort of customizations you can do with this plane and how it sort of flies and works out with all the different customizations. So getting straight into things, we'll start off with the armor. Obviously the armor will be able to protect the aircraft from bullets and missiles and stuff like that. Obviously the better armor you go for, the better protection. Next are the countermeasurements. Now this is something that is relatively new with the Smuggler's Run update, where you can actually deploy things to deter other missiles. So you have the shaft which will block incoming missiles, the flares which will deter them away. Now the shaft you only get 10, but you get 20 of the flares, which is why they are more expensive, but they are a lot better because you get more of them. So next is the engine tunes. Obviously the engine will make it go faster the more upgrades you put in there. Then next they have the handling, which I'm pretty excited about because they've actually allowed you to upgrade how the plane actually flies, which is a pretty interesting update. Next we have all the liveries. So first of all we have Keep Running, Bombardier, See You Later, All Aboard, which is the one that was in the trailer, How High, Air Emu, Coast Guard and Noose. Now all of these look pretty exciting, but I'm going to go with just the colours for now, just to see what other ones are available. So first of all we have the chrome, which is a classic. So obviously the paints are just the ones that are available for the cars, but nevertheless there are plenty of those, meaning that you can have whatever sort of colour you want on the plane. Now scrolling through these, just having a look what they look like on the plane, the secondary colours seem to be the ones that go underneath the propellers and on the bottom of the plane itself. Again, they're the same colours as the ones for the cars in the game, but still doesn't really make a difference because there are so many different ones to choose from, you can have whatever sort of colour you want. Now next is the thrust. The JATO or Jet Assisted Takeoff is pretty interesting. So if you're stuck in a difficult situation and you need to get away, you just turn on the JATO and you fly away instantly. It's such an interesting feature. I'm really glad that they've added it onto this plane. Next are the bombs. Now, obviously this is something new that is added with the update. Now, first of all, we have just the standard explosive, which just drops bombs and explodes on the bottom. Then second, we have incendiary, which obviously leaves a field of flames after you drop the bomb. Then is the gas, which leaves a cloud of gas after the bomb hits. And then it's the cluster, which obviously drops cluster bombs after the bomb impacts with the floor. Then moving on to the secondary weapon, which is the one on the tail of the plane, which a second person can get in while the plane's being piloted. So first of all, we have the stock standard, which is the 50 cal. Then second of all, you have dual 50 cals. And then third of all, you have a minigun. Now, obviously all of these are very expensive, not only the add-ons are very expensive, but the plane is very expensive as well, with it costing about 5 million, but that doesn't matter, because as long as you grind hard enough, you can get this awesome plane. So as you guys can see from the gameplay, the Tula is also amphibious. You can land this thing on water, which is great if you need to replenish your Jato boosts, and then you can easily fly off from the water again. But a word of warning, don't leave the plane in the water for too long, because the vehicle will get destroyed if it's in there for too long, especially if the propellers are facing upright. Now believe me, I know from experience that this will happen, as you guys can see in the gameplay. Now also the bomb dropping feature has a cool camera, which allows you to see where the bombs are dropping, allowing you to aim a lot more precisely. Now it also has the feature to drop multiple bombs instead of just one as well, which I think is a fantastic addition. So there we go then guys, that's it for this video. What did you guys think of the Tula? Let me know in the comments. Also guys, don't forget that we are giving away a $3.5 million shark card every day this week. So if you guys want the chance to win, click the link in the description to enter. So if you guys could drop a like on this video, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Chaotic for all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.